A warmer pattern change is finally on the way, but before we get there, we have a little bit of ice and snow that we're still going to have to deal with. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how much freezing rain we could see, also the mode of precipitation for what region, and then the mild pattern change coming afterwards. <laughs> Three forty-six p.m. and it is January twenty-first. Welcome to another update from Great Lakes weather. Hope everybody is doing well today. And we have a another winter, I guess, snowmaker and ice maker to talk about across the Great Lakes region that is coming um, on Tuesday, mainly Tuesday. It looks like it's going to start Monday night and then go into Tuesday morning. But let's break it down for you with the latest from the National Weather Service. There has been a few winter weather advisories put out for this event. I waited for the latest HRRR model to come out regarding this event because there's still some questions as to who's going to see what. So this will give us a better idea now that we're getting closer to the event. So this is from the Weather Prediction Center. This information is accessible to you. In fact, all of this information I'm going to show you is accessible to you. So we're going to look at some weather models um, with regards to how much snow and ice people are going to see. And again, I'm going to put out that this again is not necessarily a forecast it's just a model output because it's going to show you the focus of those regions but again um, some some of these places will see changes as we get closer to the actual event so just wait on the latest forecast from others for that information but you can see that the National Weather Service is putting out freezing rain for much of Michigan Indiana and Ohio coming Monday night into Tuesday. So you see that um, the snow is really going to focus in parts of northern Michigan. I really don't think it's going to be too much up there. And in fact, the latest HRRR model doesn't really put much of anything coming up in this direction. But there is possibly going to be some lake effect snow on the backside in the Upper Peninsula prior to the arrival of that upcoming warm up, which we will talk about in just a second. So let's look at the HRRR model with this. Um, particular storm that's going to be coming our way. We've been under some cool high pressure for the past couple of days, bringing that um, uh, lake effect snow event that we chased in parts of southwestern Michigan, northwest Indiana. A lot of snow accumulated from that, by the way. It was pretty impressive snowfall totals. But what you're going to see here is, again, you see this pink here. That pink is freezing rain, according to what the HRRR model is depicting. Now, there's a lot of model, there's a few model variabilities still where this is going to land, but um, you can see that the HRRR is putting out that by Monday morning, we'll start to see some of the snow from this initial system. What we're expecting is that there's going to be a warm front lifting to the north associated with the system. However, the surface temperatures are going to be below freezing still, pretty much um, around 27, 28 degrees in a lot of different places. In fact, maybe some places even colder. That is going to enable the rain as it melts in the higher levels of the atmosphere to freeze once it reaches that surface. It's going to be a very cold rain. It's going to hit that cold surface that we've had for the past several days, and it's going to make things super slick out there. So um, Monday, 7 a.m., you could see that there is snow entering parts of Indiana, parts of Michigan. As you progress it forward, you can see that that snow continues to progress through parts of Michigan and parts of Indiana. By the time we get into the afternoon, evening hours of Monday, Monday, you start to see that freezing rain really start to set up. You can kind of see where a warm front's kind of settling its way in here too. If you get a sounding out um, of this area, uh, it's not really loading at this current moment, but a sound, the soundings reveals kind of what's going on in the atmosphere. So you can see dendritic growth zone, the area where ice crystals or snow crystals can begin to form. Uh, and condense is between 15,000 and 18,000 feet. Now pay attention to what's happening here though. Notice here in this particular part of the, at of the atmosphere, one kilometer to three kilometers, you have a warm dew point and warm temperatures lined up right there. This is above freezing right here, okay? So these temperatures above freezing will melt those ice crystals back into rain. But as the, by the time it reaches the surface, you can see the surface temperatures here are 27 degrees. Once it reaches that once it reaches that level where the temperature is very cold, that is where you're going to see that quick freeze on the roadways and on trees and on power lines and those types of things. Okay, How much ice are we expecting? I would say the focus of the heavier ice accumulations will be in western Indiana and maybe portions of northwestern Indiana. Southern Michigan will still see some decent ice enough to cause hazardous travel Tuesday morning, but I really don't think it's going to be as impactful as that ice storm we had last year that brought like over half an inch of ice to some places across southern Michigan. So um, that's a positive about this forecast. But you do see that by the time we get to um, Monday at about 11 p.m., we are seeing freezing rain across much of northwest Indiana and southern Michigan, as well as a possible wintry mix in some spots too. So it is going to be kind of a messy, ice icy 
pattern. I'm not going to call it nice storm because ice storm for it to qualify as nice storm, you got to see um, over three tenths of an inch of ice in a lot of places. So um, we'll have to see if that changes at any point. But it is going to be a uh, notable uh, wet winter event this year, I would say. Not not in terms of intensity, but in terms of just the fact that it is mainly freezing rain across the Great Lakes region. Some places will be heavier than others. Places such as northern Indiana and central Indiana will have that heavier freezing rain. Again, same pattern. You have that cold, those below freezing temperatures and above freezing higher up that's allowing the ice crystals to melt. And then you get that freezing rain starting to develop. You can see that snow, uh, snow freezing rain line. It's not really super well defined here, which is why it's kind of hard to make a guess at who's going to see how much ice accumulation. You can see that this, these regions are obviously going to see freezing rain. Uh, Western Ohio, northern Indiana, and portions of extreme southern Michigan. But the places farther to the north are still in question. It's looking like places up here will see mainly snow, and it will be very. It will vary in terms of its intensity and also in terms of the precip type rather frequently. But you can start to see that um, there comes a transitioning point as we get past Tuesday morning. This is Tuesday at 9 a.m. Still freezing rain falling across much of the area. And some of the models are actually putting out now the chance for some snow, changing it back into snow following the freezing rain overnight. So that's going to come into question. But... I, I do think there's probably going to be a transition to rain as we get closer into the afternoon when that temperature begins to warm up. So I think it's probably, there might be a little bit of snow thrown in there, but it's probably going to be a freezing rain transition to rain at that point. Now, if you get a sounding in the green area um, over St. Joseph County across southern Michigan, shows that best guess precip type is rain. Well, look at the temperature here. Temperature is just above freezing. Um, it might be at the point where it's not going to stick as well to the roads but again there's prop there might be some lingering ice in the roadways as a result of this so what to say about this definitely going to have slick travel tuesday morning you're going to want to have extra caution if you have to be on the roadways um those bridges and overpasses will be especially slick i think the back roads are really where going to face the main brunt of this because again the plows will be out salting the main roads but again it will still be impactful in terms of travel for tuesday morning and possibly even into early Tuesday afternoon as well as this progresses through. Let's go as far out as we can on this model, hour 48, and take a look at the total ice accumulations from this potential from this potential setup. So total ice accumulations, again, you may see large numbers here. I would be careful with going with just basing it fully off of these numbers. I think these numbers are going to be a little bit high on the HRRR. If you compare the models, though, we're going to do a model comparison of all of these. You can see that there is kind of a question of if we are going to exceed three tenths of an inch, which would also exceed ice storm criteria. Uh, that's something that will be will come into question as we get closer to the event as well. But you can see a lot of places are showing uh, decent ice accumulations across northern Indiana, southern Michigan, um, ice accumulations of one about a tenth to two tenths of an inch. Some places going farther south could, are showing three tenths to, of an inch. Places in Illinois and parts of Missouri will probably see greater icing um, as a result of this system. If you compare the models, you can see that, again, here's the, here's the NAM, big difference here. You saw a big heavy brunt of freezing rain on the HRRR, but there's a big difference shown on the NAM 3K model with no, nothing in Indiana, Ohio, or Michigan exceeding uh, three tenths of an inch. So again, that's where your questions are coming. And then you have the National Weather Service blend showing not even two-tenths of an inch in some places. Maybe if you get into Cass in western St. Joe County, you're getting close to two-tenths of an inch. So that is why, again, the model outputs, they are quite variable here um, with the potential for uh, heavier ice accumulations, which is why you've got to be a little careful with what we put out in terms of a forecast for freezing rain. But I will say, regardless of how much ice we get Tuesday morning, I really think the Major impacts will be felt in this region here, northern Indiana, southern Michigan, northwest Ohio, which, again, very commonly has been seeing the most impacts from these past few winter weather events. So um, be keep in mind there is going to be potentially some hazardous travel with this, uh, probably some icy road conditions. You're going to want to take it slow in the ice um, and then also the snowy places that go farther to the north, which we will take a look at the snowfall accumulations now 
with this system as it passes through. And again, snowfall accumulations don't look too great. Three to five inches, um, maybe not even getting over four inches in some spots. But places that could see some ice might also see some snow on the back side. But you can see the snow accumulations are not looking too extensively high with this system. So really the concern here is the ice. And that's something that we'll be watching with the latest models as they go through with this. Now, there's other models that are putting out heavier snow and also displacing the snow farther to the north, which is why, again, it's really hard to determine where that um, rain-snow line is going to be and where that icing is going to occur. But again, here's what the National Weather Service projects for ice accumulations. For, okay, so for the Great Lakes region, ice accumulations of a tenth of an inch or greater really focused around that place where the NAM 3K was showing. Okay, the NAM 3K was, they're kind of following the NAM 3K, it looks like, with this. And you see that the northern Indiana and the um, border of Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio are, is kind of in the sweet spot for ice accumulations of greater than a tenth of an inch. And then places surrounding that will likely see something similar to that. Now, if you go down farther, you can see that they have put out a 5 to 10% chance of us getting to a quarter of an inch or greater. Again, that chance is showing as pretty low at this time. So HRRR just putting out a little bit of an extensive amount of ice that I that probably will not verify. It looks like we'll probably be on the lower end of this situation. Now, the question with any type of ice storm is, will, is there going to be power outages? And I honestly will say it's doubtful. And here's the reason why. Again, one thing that really makes the power outages more impactful with an ice storm is the presence of strong winds. We are not going to have the presence of very strong winds with this system as it arrives. In fact, if you look at it, you can see that by 7 a.m., uh, temp wind speeds are not even over five knots and that means it's, they're pretty calm okay so you have calm winds again if you get enough ice to weigh down on a power line it would not be would not be surprised to cause a power outage. maybe maybe a small branch of tree a weak one but again there's not gonna be that much ice so it's not really gonna cause too much issue in terms of power outages I think so um, definitely gonna that's gonna be a positive for um, especially since we'll be dealing with still some cool temperatures into the next day now talking about that pattern change so again we have that system that moves through um, Monday into Tuesday and you can see that it is as it moves through we're gonna start to see a buildup of warmer air into the Great Lakes region it's real a ridge is really just gonna settle into our area and gonna kinda keep things warm for a nice period of time we have not had this for a while again bit of a pattern change ongoing but we're kind of going back into typical El Nino season so that's gonna be kind of a more peaceful pattern for us we're probably not gonna see anything as impactful now I am watching the long range as we are seeing uh, the arrival of maybe a little bit of a change in the pattern as we get into uh, the first week of February but I do think following the system that we get at the beginning of this week I think things are gonna start to quiet down a little bit so that's gonna be some good news especially since we've had a very arctic pattern for the past several days. All right, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Um, hopefully this video was helpful and provided us some valuable information. Make sure to subscribe and stay updated. I'll continue to provide updates as necessary. Um, we'll have to see if I can chase on Tuesday morning. Uh, kind of concerned about chasing in a freezing rain event because it's a lot harder to determine what's slick and what's not. So we'll see what happens. But just stay safe out in the roads Monday night, Tuesday morning, Michigan, Indiana, Ohio. You're probably going to see impacts from this during that time. Thanks for watching. See you all later.